everybody. Welcome back to the Grey Highland Public Library Story Time. Glad to see you again. Can everybody wave their hands? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Hello everybody and wiggle your ears. Wiggle your ears. Wiggle your ears. Hello everybody and wiggle your ears. Wiggle your ears today. Today we're reading, Where Did Daddy's Hair Go? by Joe O'Connor, illustrated by Henry Payne. And we're reading, with the permission of Random House. Jeremiah Jensen was very excited. It was a bright, sunny day at the ballpark, and he was at the first big league baseball game with his daddy. Jeremy had never seen so many people in one place. Look at Jeremiah. He's got a nice bag of popcorn. Jeremiah's dad was also feeling good. He was with his son, enjoying the smells of the ballpark and watching his favorite team, just as he had done so many times with his own father, Jeremiah's grandpa father, Grandpa. The score was tied 0-0 zero, zero, when suddenly there was a crack of the bat. One of the home team players had hit a home run. Jeremiah's dad jumped up from his seat and cheered loudly for his team. Just then, a large man seated behind them yelled, Hey, Baldy, sit down. That's not very nice, is it? He shouldn't say things like that. Jeremiah was startled and a little worried, but with a smile, his dad turned to the man and said, how did you know my name? The large man smiled back. He just made a joke out of it. Later, as they were driving home from the game, Jeremiah thought again about the large man. Daddy, why did that man call you Baldy? His dad smiled. Because people who don't have much hair on their heads are considered bald, he explained. Jeremiah thought about this. Then he wondered what he might look like without hair. What do you think? Does he look a lot like his dad? The next day, Jeremiah was sitting at the kitchen table with his dad. His dad was on the phone. Jeremiah wasn't paying much attention to what his father was saying, but he did hear one thing. Ever since I lost my hair, Jeremiah didn't catch the rest of the sentence. He was thinking too hard about the first part. Hmm, he's thinking about the, I lost my hair. Daddy lost his hair? Jeremiah thought. So that's what this is all about. A smile crept across his face. Well then, I'm going to find it. That will make Daddy very happy. He scooted off his seat and left the kitchen. The search for daddy's hair had begun. Jeremiah started in the house. He looked in the closets, the cupboards, the drawers. He looked in the bathtub. He looked in the garage. He even looked in the toilet. Nothing. Venturing outside, Jeremiah continued his hunt for daddy's hair. He looked in the sewers. He looked in the trash cans. He looked under the rocks. He looked in the front yard and the backyard, even the garden. Still nothing. He headed back to the house, discouraged. Where did daddy's hair go? Does your dad have hair? Where would hair go? And then Jeremiah had an idea. I wonder 
if other things lose their hair like Daddy did. Look at the light bulb. He's thinking hard. Jeremiah thought of other things that looked like Daddy's head. A pencil eraser. A hill with no grass on top. A camel's hump. The turtle. Even a pig. Well, maybe the pig and the camel's hump had a little fuzz, but there wasn't a lot of it. But none of these things really lost their hair, Jeremiah thought. Some of them didn't even have hair to begin with. He sighed and went into the den. His baby sister, Rosemary, was playing in the crib. Then it hit him. Rosemary had a smooth, shiny head, almost like Daddy's. Maybe he was just born like that, Jeremiah thought. Do you have a baby sister or brother? Do they have any hair? I didn't have any hair when I was a baby. Jeremiah found his father in the backyard. Dad, he asked, were you just born like that with no hair? Many people are born nearly bald, replied his dad, even you. Yikes, Jeremiah felt his head to make sure that his hair was still there. Well then, that's it. No, no, you see, I did eventually grow hair. But as I got older, my hair fell out, little by little, Jeremy's dad explained. Jeremiah thought about what his father had said. He tried to picture what his dad would look like with hair. Look at all the different hairstyles. Would daddy be a different person with hair? Jeremiah wondered. Did it hurt when your hair came out? Jeremiah asked. No. Did it bleed? No. Ouch, band-aids. He didn't need band-aids. It didn't hurt or bleed. Did you cry? No, said his dad. I was a little upset, but I realized having hair doesn't matter. It's who you are on the inside that really counts. The next day, Jeremiah and his family went to the beach. Jeremiah looked around at the people. They were all different shapes and sizes and colors. Some were small, others were tall, some skinny, some fat. There were even different kinds of bald heads. Some looked like donuts, others like horseshoes. Some were completely bald, like the man on the moon. There's the donut. Jeremiah looked over at his dad. The sun was bouncing off his shiny head. Jeremiah smiled. Daddy, he said. Yes, Jeremiah. I don't need to look for your hair anymore. I think you are perfect just the way you are. And that's the end. And here's today's craft. We're going to make a card for Dad. It says, Dad, I love you from my head Tomatoes, tomatoes, or to my toes. So you'll have a tomato and the tomato's hat and two eyes. And if you want to, you can use some crayons to write a message to dad, or like I'm going to do, make some toes on your tomato. So the first thing you're going to do is put some glue on your tomato head. There we go. And we're going to put the cap on your tomato. Yours will actually be green. We can't use green. 
when we're filming. There we go. Because it would change the background. And you have two eyes. Mine are blue. You might get a different color in your package. One blue eye and two blue eyes. And you could put a smile on your tomato to show dad how much you love him. And I don't know if you want to put a nose or not, but if you want to, I'm going to put a little nose on them. And then I thought, because it says, Dad, I love you from my head to my toes, I'm going to put 10 little toes. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. How much is five plus five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll make it look like little feet. There we go. Make them into little toes. Okay, and then if you want to, you can write something with your markers or crayons or pencils inside to tell dad how much you love him. So have a happy Father's Day. Thanks for coming out to this week's story time. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great day.